Hey everyone, Mike here from ArnoldTutoring.com with a composite function question. It says sketch f of g of x and we're given f of x and g of x. So quickly the notation f of g of x means exactly what it looks like. We're taking the entire expression for g of x and we're plugging that in everywhere we see an x in the f of x expression. So it becomes instead of x squared it's all of x minus 1 squared minus 3 times x minus 1 plus 1. Okay, so we're fitting the g of x function into f of x. If we simplify this, we can do FOIL and we get x squared minus 2x plus 1 minus 3x plus 3 plus 1. And this will simplify too. So f of g of x equals a nice quadratic of x squared minus 5x plus 5. We can graph this a variety of ways, however you like to graph quadratics. I am going to complete the square, and then we can see exactly where our vertex is, uh, and maybe a y-intercept and maybe another point, and that'll be good enough for an accurate graph. So how do we complete the square? I'm going to take the middle term, so x squared minus 5x. I'm going to take that negative 5, divide it by 2. So negative 5 divided by 2 squared. So that's negative 2.5 squared is 6.25, so I'm going to add 6.25. But you can't just add it, so I'm going to subtract it as well. Subtract 6.25, and then I have my plus 5 hanging out there too. Um, fairly straightforward. The reason I did that is because this simplifies now into x minus 2.5 all squared. Minus 6.25 plus 5 is minus 1.25. So this is my function x minus 2.5 all squared. The reason I did that again is that's vertex form. So I know my vertex is at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here's 2, here's 3. So I'm at 2.5 and negative 1.25. So negative 1, negative 2. And so I'm at the point 2.5, negative 1.25, something like that right there. And my y-intercept is quite easy to find as well because I can just plug 0 in for x here. My y-intercept is at 5. So if I count up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you can plug that there. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. So my other point where y equals 5 is going to be 2.5 to the right of my vertex. So that's at 5, so the point 0.55. Five will also be a point. Then you can just connect that and there's your quadratic. Accurate enough, two points plus the vertex, that's good to go. So using composite functions, place the whole inside function everywhere in, in place of an x for the outer function. Simplify, you've got a quadratic and you can graph that a variety of ways. Hopefully this is helpful. You can uh, always send us more questions, info at arnoldtutoring.com. Thanks.